Hello, and welcome to COP 3530 Data Structures, and I'm your instructor, Professor Ron England. I'm going to take you through a quick overview of what this class entails so that you know what to expect. First off, you're going to program, and our programming is going to be done in JavaScript. I know that a lot of the students might not have had a lot of experience with JavaScript, but it's a relatively easy language to learn. And the classes that you've had as prerequisites, which normally would be C Sharp, um, Java, uh, Java, and Python are great preparation for learning JavaScript. And I've got plenty of JavaScript introductory uh, videos. And also, uh, there are a lot of web resources to help you learn your way through JavaScript. One of the reasons for JavaScript is it's a good introduction to learning JavaScript, which you're going to be using in later classes. But the other one is, is that I've also got great tools that you can use that are online and freely available, not requiring any installation to the computer um, to be able to do JavaScript programming. The tool we're going to use in this class is JS Fiddle, which is accessible through the website jsfiddle.net, and you will need to create an account on JS Fiddle to host your assignments. The tool that you're going to, this, the JS Fiddle tool, basically has four little windows that you can work with that uh, will have the HTML that is associated with your code, which is, which is essentially going to be the interface, the JavaScript, which is the code itself, CSS, which you will not need to use, but many students do choose to learn a little bit of CSS and do it. And then the window, which will actually show the results of the code that you've written. I've got plenty of videos on how to do this. I'm not going to show it right now, but jsfiddle.net. Now, coming back to the class itself, you're going to have uh, a number of assignments. Uh, first, let's look at the outcomes. This course is a statewide course, and you do need to be able to create both complex and simple data structures and work with the algorithms that manipulate the data structures and learn a little bit of algorithmics. So uh, you're going to do this through actually doing it, coding the different data structures and the algorithms. So you'll see that there are, in this case, 15 assignments. There are one a week. And each of the assignments has the information necessary in the assignment itself to be able to complete the assignments. They start out relatively easy with assignment one, which is simply a getting started assignment. Uh, this is one of the assignments that you, uh, and, and if there is an expectation that in assignment one that you can actually sit down, watch a couple videos on JavaScript, sit down and code the assignment. Now I have to go back and do a whole lot of extra stuff to sit down and do it. If you're not at that level of programming, you're going to want to put a lot of extra time and effort into getting your level of programming up. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be capable of doing the class. It just simply means that programming is the tool that you will be using in this class. This isn't a class about learning how to program. You've already done that. This is a tool about using programming and a language to accomplish tasks. The tasks that you're going to be do, you're going to learn to accomplish, are all part of the upcoming assignments. And by the end of the uh, and by the end of the final assignment, you're going to be able to produce some fairly complex graphical based analysis. So there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to learn to do. We also build on this knowledge of both JavaScript and um, and the design of data structures in upcoming classes like COP 4813 Web Systems Programming, where you're going to do very complex programming assignments in, in the same format. Now, as far as learning the materials, we have a topics link which takes you through all of the different pieces of the things that you're learning. But the good news about this is that in the assignments themselves, you will have links to all the materials you need specifically for the assignment that you're doing. You've also got the ability to drop back to the discussion boards that go with the class and ask questions. And I strongly encourage you, if you're having issues, ask the questions. Okay. It, uh, you know, that, Programming is a tough thing. I do give a tremendous amount of flexibility in the submission of the assignments. And the reason is because you're programming. In the programming world, it's very hard to say, I'm going to be able to accomplish this task by this date because you really don't, you really do have a number of unknowns that you might run into in solving the algorithmic problems and debugging. But I do expect everybody to keep moving forward and attempting the assignments on a timely basis. Now, the other piece of this class is going to be the quizzes. I've created a massive quiz database, and you will have a weekly quiz. Good news, unlimited tries. You can keep going at this over and over again. And I won't say bad news in this case, but other news, there are some challenging questions. Some of the questions are going to require you to write code to be able to solve the questions. When you're running into a question that says, what does this piece of code actually do, or what is the complexity of the piece of code, 
I do sometimes expect you to sit down and actually write the code, put it into a fiddle, work through it, and figure it out. So there is a level of complexity. There are no exams. Quizzes are quizzes. There's one a week. They stay open throughout the entire semester, and you do get unlimited tries. So one of the goals that you can shoot for is acing all the quizzes. I doubt seriously you'll ace them all in the first try, but again, you've got unlimited tries. So between the assignments, which will require you to do a weekly programming piece, and the uh, quizzes, those are the two components that make up the grade. Now, as far as getting started and getting rolling, thing to do is follow the links to the website, take a look at that first assignment. I do think it is a good idea to also look at some of the upcoming assignments. That means you have to go all the way to assignment 15 and take a look. But, uh, and by the way, just so you know, in assignment 15, you're going to create your own blockchain, okay, which basically is the basis of cryptocurrencies. So what's the best way to know how something works? Build it. And that's what you're going to be doing is building it. So you're going to probably have some questions as you go along here. I check the discussion boards usually two to three times a day, and I jump very quickly on the discussions. I've created a lot of videos. I've thrown a lot of humor into some of my videos. Uh, programming, I know, can be relatively dry, but the reality of programming is the best way to learn how to program is to program. Not to, like somebody else program, you can learn trips, tips and techniques, but to truly learn it, you gotta just knuckle down and do it. And that is what you're gonna be doing in this class. So I hope everybody has a great semester. I'm hoping for everybody to do well. This is uh, what you should be uh, expecting. There's one last little thing. If your programming is weak, or, um, and, well, especially if your programming is weak, some of these assignments will take a significant amount of time because you will be learning programming skills that you haven't mastered yet. At the same time, you'll actually have to be using those skills to solve real problems. I would recommend that if your programming skills are weak, that you get started on the assignments immediately and start working your way through them as quickly as you can, working them through. Because as you get into later assignments, they are going to get relatively challenging. If you're a strong programmer, that's fantastic. You won't have to spend a lot of time worrying about the programming aspects and have the capability of focusing on the structures and the algorithms that you're writing. Some of those will be complex too. So there will be a challenge in this class for everybody. Anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody getting started and good programming. I like to say good programming a lot because programming is one of those things that really does exercise your mind. See you in class. Bye-bye.